Hey everyone, Meg here with I Teach Stamping and today we're gonna to be making a fabulous little Halloween card. So I'm doing one of my favorite things to do which is to make my own stencil. So I took the stencil, this is a cover plate die, it's called Count to Six and it's from the exclusive Boo Box with Katherine Pooler Designs that's a limited edition. But I took it and I cut out a piece of plastic, some stencil making material to give me my frame and then it also had the little pieces on the inside and I can use these for other fun things. All right, so now I get to use my stencil and stamp tool from Sizzix and my uh, custom made stencil and I'm gonna lay it on here. Now this is a really, really thin stencil. It's got a thin line because it had the edging of that die. So I'm gonna use some tape to help hold it in place for me. Um, the sides will stick pretty well, but of course on top, that's a lot of real estate. So I wanna make sure that doesn't shift on me. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some cream sickle ink. This is a lighter color. And so I'm gonna go directly onto my cardstock in a bit. I'm gonna do it a little bit different when I switch over to another color. I'm gonna go in and just kinda do some light swirling. Oh, see, there we go. I probably need a bit more tape, but we'll see how we do. Lift up, see how I like it so far. I think I want some more up here. Yep, okay, I like the way that looks. Now I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna be using pixie dust. This is gonna be pretty intense compared to that creamsicle. So on my plain side, I'm just gonna add some ink and I'm gonna pick up that ink with a blending brush. I want to take my stencil and now I'm gonna move it. Press it down on the edges here. And I'm gonna go in with this pixie dust on top. Doing it pretty light because this is such an intense purple, believe it or not, it doesn't look like it. But if I were to go over it and over it and over it, you would see that intensity coming through. So I'm just gonna do a light coloring to start. And then I can always add more ink, but it's really hard to take ink away. Let's see how we're doing. Ooh, that looks cool. I'm gonna add a bit more. Yep, and I'm happy with that. So look at that unique background that we make. And I like how some of the stitching from that die that transferred onto the stencil when I cut it out shows through, so it's not all nice crisp lines. That's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is our stamping. I'm gonna remove this layer, and now I'm gonna use the stencil and stamp tool to do my stamping. I'm gonna clean off this ink so that nothing transfers. We'll see if my stamps stay in place when I move this over. So just some white cardstock. And now I'm using from the same Boo Box, the Fright Night stamp set. Flip this over and pick up my images. Now I'm gonna be going with orange peel for my pumpkin. And then my black ink. And because I'm using a stamp positioner, I probably won't need to go over it a second time. If I had enough, then I would need to and wish I had used it. That's the way these things work, right? Awesome, actually looks really good. I'm gonna go over my, oh, a second time in my pumpkin real quick. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna do some ink splattering. I'm gonna be doing both some black and some white. I'm gonna start with my white first. Get some of that 
into my tray and I like to add water to this one. Just gonna take it with my paintbrush over the top. I'm gonna switch and do some with my black. Let me close this up. I'm doing this now so it's got a chance to dry. I'm gonna use some mint tape to hold my dies in place and run this through my Big Shot. I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and cut down my sentiment. So now we're gonna put our card together. I'm gonna to start with a white card base. Use my bone folder again, nice crisp edge. I'm gonna use some foam tape on the back of this panel. Peel off the backings. And then I'm going double dimension today, like doubling up on that foam. A lot of times I won't because that'll just make it a little bit more male friendly, uh, putting it through the post office. But for this one, I'm going to. I just love all the elements being popped up. So I'm going to start with my sentiment. Next up, I'm going to add my witch's hat. I'm going to kind of tuck that underneath there. Then my pumpkin, I'm going to go over and with my spider web, I'm going to go under. Okay, so here is our sweet Halloween card all complete. I love so much about this, but what I think I love the most is that I made my own custom stencils using that cover plate die. And I like that I put it on an angle, lifted up and moved it to a different angle using two different inks. I just think that looks really cool. The ink splatters, I, I love that part. And then I grab some of my favorite images from that boo box. And when you're watching this, if that boo box is still around, I'll have a link in my description below. Make sure to go grab it while you still can. But if not, try this with other supplies that you have. There's so many things you can do with this idea. So if you like this video, make sure to like and follow I Teach Stamping. Again, I'm Meg from I Teach Stamping. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.